Welcome to ABC News 246. My name is Dick Woods, and I'll be your anchor for the day. Today we have live footage, well actually not live, but we have a 3D effect of what actually went on during the raid of Osama Bin Laden. Hibbert, take us away. On a near moonless night, Packed into two specially outfitted Black Hawk helicopters, SEAL Team 6 headed for the mission of their lives. The target, this sprawling compound surrounded by walls reaching nearly 20 feet high at points. The SEAL Team, 30 to 40 men, flew low beneath the radar and undetected in the darkness, descending on the compound. The plan was to repel from the helicopters, but one of the Black Hawks stalled, forcing a white-knuckle hard landing outside the compound. They began a room-by-room -room search in a smaller building first, where they found the wives and children of two of Bin Laden's trusted couriers. Next, the larger complex, where gunfire erupted. Two men, Bin Laden's couriers, were shot dead. The SEAL shouted for Bin Laden to surrender. He resisted. They aimed first for the head, giving the weapon a double tap of the trigger, as they are trained to do, to ensure they got him. Thank you, Hubert. <clears throat> right now, we're about 30 seconds away from speaking to President Obama. Uh, we, would, we would ask him a typical question of like what was going on through his head during the process of the raid of Osama bin Laden. Um, you know, we're going to talk to him through live feed, or satellite, rather. Um, so, we're just going to wait. Actually, telling me he's on right now, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna tune in, and I'll be asking questions. So, Mr. President, what do you have to say? Let's go, my fellow Americans. I'm here, and I'm happy to say that we can celebrate on this momentous day. So, you saying we can be happy on this day? I mean, can you can you clear it up for the American people? Now. Look, let me be clear, Osama bin Laden, we caught him and he's out of here. Well, he is the champ. I mean, I can I can say that he's the champ, the hide and seek champ. We've been looking for him since 2001. That's almost, what, nine or ten years? Where, where did we find him? Where did you find him, to be exact? It's lights out for the hide and seek champion. We found him hiding in a dusty looking mansion. So, Mr. President, how were we able to catch him? So we sent a team and they rolled up on his mans in him and sent him nighty night with a permanent justice laced envy. So, how good would you say our intelligence are? You know, such as Yahoo, Google, X, or, or anything? Our intelligence is fly. They put in a lot of work using all resources. Shouts out to Google Earth. So, how long have we been staking a something like that? How long have we been spying on him? Watch for months like an eagle eyeing a rat in the dirt Then to return the favor brought terror right to his own turf So, exactly what team showed up? Exactly what, what did they do to be exact, Mr. President? Team 6 showed up in choppers, it was so cash Lit his house with red dots like it had a rash Navy SEAL stashed inside, left their heads spinning Then flew off in the night screaming, duh, winning So, um, Mr. what message would you give Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda, look, our message is clear. Don't get it twisted and refuse to live here in fear. No matter how long it takes, we're right behind you. Like Antoine Dotson said, we gon' find you. Now, we, uh, we all aware that, you know, that Al-Qaeda members, they still refuse, they refuse to admit that Osama is even dead. Some members of Al-Qaeda just won't admit it. They don't believe we got it. They say it's not legit. Why why would they why is there a reason for them to, to, to start getting nervous now? They get nervous because they know they took a major hit. They own that Donald Trump. They want to see the death certificate. Why is I mean why is it that uh Pakistani ambassador why is why is he so angry? I mean he couldn't have possibly he couldn't have possibly known Mr. President that Osama bin Laden was right down the street from him. I mean, with 10, 15, 20 miles, he couldn't have known that, right? He couldn't have. Pakistan's ambassador's mad, he can have a seat. How you not know bin Laden was living right down the street? Now, Mr. President, did we do it the Amer American way or did we do it your way? 
Just, just, a, just a question. We went down low and did it my way. We, we so excited and it ain't even Friday. We played that hardball. Warfare rugby. We had to because Osama's agenda was fun. If you could say maybe a couple of things, if Osama was here right now, what exactly would you say to Osama bin Laden, Mr. President? I hope you're cozy in hell on a gasoline snuggie for the rocket right now. You ain't messing with my Dougie. <laughs> Mr. President, okay, uh, would you do understand that Al Qaeda, he, he's, 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 he's mad right now. Al Qaeda's all mad how we pulled off that coup, but haters gonna hate you just mad cause I'm styling on you. You wasted decades on a jihad excursion just to find out on the other side you ain't got no virgins. <laughs> Alright, Mr. President, uh, we're gonna let you go after these few questions. Uh, number one, have, have we won this war? Is, is this war over with? And number two, are we still fighting for our freedom? Because it, it, it seems like Americans, we are kind of afraid to fly and, you know, not really afraid, but, you know, in question number three, would you, you kindly speak on your second term, if you will? America, we won the battle, but the war is still on. We'll fight for our freedom with our flag flying strong. That's all I gotta say. I'm heading back to the situation room. Oh, that'll be two terms, please. Thank you.